What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have mission two of the accolades in Black Ops 3. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. So the first accolade in New World is completed in the mission without dying. This is fairly easy. This is one of the easiest missions in the game. Just stay back and you should be golden. The next accolade is called score, which is achieve 26,500 score or higher. Now, this can give you a bit of trickery with this level. I know I actually only just managed to get 26,500. I actually had it on the dot. So, this may take you one or two tries, but you'll be doing, but odds on you'll be doing the accolades through multiple playthroughs of the level. So, you should really have not that much trouble with this. Now, we are going to talk about the Garam Trophy. So, this is good for collecting every single collectible in the mission the first one is when you walk past that fire when something has fallen down and it is just on the floor the next one is once you get ambushed by all the robots you just run up the stairs and it is just on by this bin the third one is when you're in this kind of i don't really know how to explain this area but it's very easily recognized and you just want to walk down the stairs and the medallion is just in the back of the room on the table the next one, as soon as you enter the train, you're going to go up to this bartender and you just want to jump over the table and it is actually right there. The final one is once you start attacking the robots and they come out of both of them stations, you just want to come up the stairs and it is right here next to this gentleman. So that is the Ghanim Accolade. The next accolade we're going to talk about is Inferno. Now, this one can give you a bit of trouble, but to make it a little bit easier on yourself, you want to get the thermite grenades. I think that's what they're called, where basically you just throw it and then it lights enemies on fire. Just find a group of enemies and light them on fire. If you don't want to do that, there are fire canisters that are marked with red, but they are a lot, but that, is, that can be a bit more tricky. Just use thermite grenades and you should be fine. The next accolade is called multitasker which is killing three enemies while run while running this is fairly easy but it can make make you have a few tries at shooting an enemy but as far as difficulty wise this is very simple and you shouldn't really have that much trouble with it the next accolade is called punch through which requires you to kill six enemies through a wall or through cover now if you're using your dni you should be able to see them through the walls and if you see them through the walls then that means they're able to get shot at you should be able to get this fairly early on in the level the next accolade is called Fast Learner, which requires you to kill five enemies in under two seconds using the Cyber Core abilities. Now, I don't remember what this ability is called, but you get it as soon, like, during your first playthrough of the level. You just want to come in here, and there's robots everywhere. If you want to make it a little easier on yourself, use EMPs and stun them, and then use your ability, and you'll just ground pound the ground, ground pound the ground, really, and you'll kill every robot in that room. The next accolade is called Make Them Count, which is kill three enemies with one explosion three times. This is very easy to do. You just want to find a group of enemies, like they're normally around the starting area of the level. And you just throw a grenade and hope it kills three of them. It's not very difficult to do, and it shouldn't give you that much trouble. The next accolade is called Here You Drop This, which is kill three enemies with thrown back grenades. If you have your DNI on, you'll actually see the grenades on the floor. And what you want to do is you just want to throw the grenade back and kill three enemies. Very simple to do and won't give you that much trouble. The next accolade is called Spikesicle, which requires you to kill an enemy with an icicle. So when you're down in the underground and you're frozen and you're talking to Taylor, as soon as you get unfrozen, just look up and shoot the icicle and it shall drop down on the two robots, killing one of them. Very easy, very easy to accomplish. The next accolade is called Caught em Sleeping, which will kill six robots when they are disabled by EMP grenades. This is very easy. All you have to do is just have EMPs, throw an EMP at the robot, and when they're doing their shake thing, just kill them, and that will count towards the accolade. Once again, very easy to do. Now, we're going to talk about three different ones in this section. We're going to talk about Conservanist, whatever that word says, Parkour, and Discretion. I, uh, my my English today. So conserving whatever, which requires you to complete the chase without reloading. This is very easy. Just don't shoot your gun. Parkour requires you to run over the train while it is passing. Very easy to do. And the bitch one of this level is discretion, which requires you to complete the chase without de-resing any civilians. Basically, you de-res a civilian by shooting them or walking into them. So just be very careful where you're walking, because if you like, if you 
think you've walked into someone, just turn around, and if there's blue there, just kill yourself, and then restart the that section. It, this can take you a few tries, but as long as you're careful where you're walking and kind of keeping up the pace, because you kind of have to keep on board and uh, chase the guy. But it's not that difficult, but it can take you a few tries. The next accolade is called Turn the Guns On, them, which requires you to kill six enemies with a hijacked turret. This is very easy to do. You will probably get this on your first playthrough of the level. You just want to hack the turret and then just kill every enemy that you see. Sorry, I don't have gameplay. I just couldn't remember what the specialist thing was. And the final accolade is called stopping power which requires you to kill eight robots on the train with the shotgun without reloading this is very easy to do just watch where you're shooting and make sure your shot is actually aligned up before you let go of the trigger it helps if you're playing this on recruit because the obviously the robots will take less damage but it is very easy to do so guys that's it